Jack and his damn beanstalk by the Hebrew widow. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack. He lived in the Caucasus Mountains in a cave with his mother. And they had ran out of food. All they had left was the old sick starving cow. And so Jack and his mother was hungry. And his mother thought, man, we need to sell this cow. We need to sell it, Jack. So Jack was like, yeah, mom, why don't you go to the marketplace and sell it for us? And she said, Jack, you got to go because you know they're going to give you more money than they give me. So you take the cow and you go. He's like, oh, mom, come on. She's like, no, nah, Jack, you got to go sell that cow. So Jack was hungry and he was like, well, I guess I got to go do it. Damn. And so he goes and get the cow. And he's walking down the roadway to the marketplace when he meets this old looking rich man. He had blue eyes and he was sharp and he had a nice carriage. And so he saw Jack looking all poor with his cow and he said, hey man, I need that cow. You want to sell it? And Jack was like, yeah, man, uh, what you got? Because Jack really didn't even want to go any further. He was so lazy. So he said, let me see what this man has to offer me. So the old man said, my name is Hashatan. What's your name? And he said, oh, my name is Jack. Pleased to meet you, Jack. He said, yeah, man, I want to buy that cow. He said, what you got? He said, I got three beans. But they're not just any beans. They're magical beans. Each one of these beans holds your wishes and dreams. And they will make your wishes and dreams come true. So Jack said, man, come on, that's some bull crap. And the old man said, man, look at me. Do it look like I'm trying to trick you? And so Jack said, no, nah, man, you don't look like you're trying to trick me or anything but you know three beans he said these are magical beans you want to look like me you'll make this deal and so jack said okay man i hope this works and the old man said oh yeah it's gonna work and so they made the exchange and old man hashatan went his way and jack went the other way so on the way home jack Stop and he sat down under the tree and he took those three beans out of his pocket and he said "Ooh, I gotta be careful of how I make my wishes on these beans and so he looked at the first bean and he opened his hand and he lifted up the bean he closed his eyes and he says I want to be the richest man on earth he closed his hand back up on the bean and put it in his pocket. And then he took the second bean out and he lifted it up to the heavens. He lifted that bean up to the heavens and declared, I never want to work for anything that I get. And he closed his hand up on that bean and he put it in his pocket. And then the last bean, he said, after lifting it up to the heavens, I never want to suffer any consequences for anything that I do. And he closed his hand on that bean and put it in his pocket and headed home. So mom saw Jack approaching the house and she Oh my goodness, she was so happy and she was so relieved because the cow wasn't with Jack, so she knew Jack had sold the cow. And so she flung that door open. She's like, Jack, Jack, what did you get? Come on, hurry up. What did you get? And so Jack ran up to his mother and he, he opened his hand and he had three beans in it. And his mother was like, what the hell? 
And so Jack said, Mom, no, 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 Mom, you don't understand. I met this old man named Hashitan on the road, and he was a rich old man, and I sold him a cow for these beans, but they're not just any beans, they're magical beans. And he said, in those beans are my hopes and my dreams and my wishes, and that these magical beans can make all of it come true. And Mama looked at him and said, you idiot, we are going to starve. I knew I couldn't count on your laser behind. Get out of my face. Give me those beans, boy. And she threw those beans out of the window. Now, I know all y'all remember the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. But I want to tell you the truth of Jack and the Beanstalk. What it really means, okay? It's time for Judah to wake up after the 400 years. Okay, enjoy the story, you guys. So Jack goes to sleep with the magic beans on his mind. And he starts dreaming. And he saw those magical beans sprouting up. And then magically, he saw the stock growing up past the clouds, all up into the heavens. And he was like, wow. And he woke up and he said, wow, that was just a dream. So he went downstairs. There was no food down there. Mom is all pissed off at him. He said, I got to find those magic beans. So he goes outside to the garden where she threw them. And lo and behold, the magic bean stalk grew up through the clouds to the other dimension so jack said oh i knew i knew these beans were magical and he started climbing up the beanstalk he passed the clouds and then he reached the other dimension the dimension of the star seed and he looked around and he was like whoa there was a big old mansion and a big old chariot in front of the mansion. And out came a big giant. That giant was so sharp. Man, he was so huge. He was just built like a bodybuilder. And he was like 20 feet tall. And then... Behind him was his beautiful wife. She was a brick house, heavily melanated. And she kissed him and she said, I love you, Judah. I can't wait until you get back home. And then Judah said, I love you too, girl. You know you my girl. And he climbed up into his chariot and he went off to his corporation. So Jack looked at all of that and he was like, yeah, yeah, this is the life I want. This is the life I want. So he came from the bushes and he snuck around the mansion. He started peeking through windows and he saw all kind of electronics and all kind of fancy antiques and heirlooms. And then he peeked into Judah's office window and in there he saw a big old chalkboard with all kind of formulas and inventions and then he saw blueprints and then he saw a keyboard and, and he saw all kind of musical equipment and then he saw the checking statement so he said I gotta get in I gotta get in I gotta go check this out he snuck into the house and he snuck on into Judah's office, went straight to that checking statement and he's seen all of these huge deposits from different corporations and oh Judah was like a billionaire. And so he said, wow. And he looked around and he said, if I could just get one of these ideas and take it back to my dimension 
I know I'll be rich. I will be rich. And so then the giant, he was in his car and he said, oh, shoot. I forgot my notes. I forgot my notes for that cotton gin. And so he went back to the house. And while he's on his way back, Mrs. Judah Israel heard something stirring in her husband's office and she walked in there and there was Jack. She said, who are you and what are you doing in my house, boy? And he said, oh, ma'am, I'm just so hungry. I'm so poor. I just need something to eat. Can you please give me something to eat? And so then she felt sorry for him. And she fixed him some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and an ice cold glass of milk. And she said, now you hurry up and eat that because you got to leave. Because if my husband come home and find you, oh man, you're going to be in big trouble. So Mrs. Judah Israel, she heard the chariots approaching the house and she said, oh no, Jack, hurry up and go hide in the closet of my husband's office right now and Judah came in the house and he starts sniffing around and he was like woman who do you have in this house fee five fo fum I smell the blood of a colonizer be he alive or be he dead I'll grind his bones to make my bread so Miss Judah Israel said oh after Judah left, she was like, oh, thank God he didn't find you, Jack. And Jack said, I know I heard. Oh, would he have really eaten me? She said, Jack, you would have been in big trouble. Get out of here. So Jack, he had already stolen some papers. It was some lyrics to a song that Mr. Judah Israel had written. And he said, oh, we... Oui. Let me go take this back into my dimension. He won't even miss it. And he went down that beanstalk. And he went to the big city. And he sold the lyrics. And he made like 50 grand. And he came back home with that money. And his mother was so happy. She was like, oh, those beans were magical, Jack. Oh, man, they had food. They redecorated their cave. He went and bought him a wagon. And then his funds started dwindling. And he said, man, he said, all of those ideas up in that giant's office, that's the goose that laid the golden eggs. Every idea that he has will continue to make his money. I got to go back up there. I got to go get some more. So Jack went climbing up that beanstalk again and he passed the clouds and he made it to the starseed dimension and he went directly to the mansion. Everything was really quiet. He didn't see anybody stirring around when he peeked through the window and he went right to Mr. Judah Israel's office. Little did he know they were in the room napping. And so he was hurrying up, he was scurrying around that office, and he was stealing every idea, every song, everything that Mr. Judah Israel had created, and he was putting it in a knapsack. And he dropped a vase, and Mr. Judah Israel woke up, and he starts sniffing, and he said, See, five, four, five, I smell the blood of a colonizer. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. And he started heading to the office, and Jack heard him, and he ran away. He jumped out of that window so fast, and he ran away with all of Mr. Judah Israel's works. Mr. Judah Israel went to his office, and he seen all of his ideas was gone, everything that he had created, and he saw Jack running down the road. And so he hurried up and ran to the front door, and he started chasing Jack, but he couldn't catch him. 
And so Jack, he jumped on that beanstalk and he started heading down. And Mr. Judah Israel jumped on the beanstalk too to leave his dimension. To catch that little bastard that stole all of his work. And so Jack, had, he made it down the beanstalk. And Mr. Judah Israel, he was coming down and all of a sudden he heard cracking and crunching and the beanstalk fell and Mr. Judah Israel fell and he died. But that's not the end of the story. The real story goes that Mr. Judah Israel, he died and after 400 years, he was resurrected. The Most High Creator of all things breathed the breath of life back into Mr. Judah Israel. And he rose stronger than ever before with supernatural abilities. First thing he did he took a deep breath he breathed all of the most high light love and power into his body and he said I'm gonna go get that little bastard Jack who stole all of my ideas I'm gonna take my ideas back and every dime that he made off my work I'm going to get it back and then I'm going back to my star seed dimension and Mr. Judah Israel made a beeline to Jack's corporation and with his star seed power and ability he recaptured and regained all of his wealth back and he went to the Most High and he prayed and he said, Yahweh, I would like to return back to my dimension with all of my wealth. If it be your will. And the Most High said, After the 400 years of captivity, I will stretch forth my mighty hand and all that are like you all of my star seed that fell in Jack's traps will be returned to your star seed dimension and I will destroy Jack so Mr. Judah Israel climbed up the magic beanstalk that Yahweh provided for him to get back into his dimension. He climbed up through the clouds and he started getting closer to home and he started smelling home, he started feeling home and finally he reached the top and Mrs. Judah Israel was at home waiting for him and he knocked on the door and she answered, Oh, Judah, I love you so much, Judah. I knew you would make it back home. I knew you would come back to me. And he said, Oh, yeah, girl, I was down for 400 years. But Yahweh blessed me. He gave me back all of our wealth. All of our dreams and ideas, he gave them all back to me. And I'm bringing it back up to this star seed dimension. And she said, thank you, Yahweh, for being so merciful to Judah and allowing him to come back into our dimension. And they hugged and they kissed and they lived happily ever after. <laughs>